Welcome back guys. This lecture we're going to cover current transformers and the mountable industrial multimeter which will help you measure the voltage in your electrical panel without you having to hold your multimeter in hand every time and checking the input. This is very practical and you see it in all of the electrical panels and you can use this scheme. This is what's called a current transformer. So this is a current transformer and it will be used in order to measure the voltage that's going through your electrical panel. Here is a multimeter, digital one, that will measure the voltage between each two phases or between the neutral and the phase. Let's see what does this mean. So this is my circuit breaker and here is my three lines, the three phases. So this is what we're going to do. The main supply coming to our electrical panel is coming through this circuit breaker from these three phases and it's distributing it to the electrical panel right now at the output of your circuit breaker you're going to install three of these the way you install them is that you fix it the wire will be passing through this transformer from this hole and this hole and this hole and then it will be distributed now your multimeter will also be connected to the three phases now every one of this current transformer contains two wires and they will go to this analyzer or the multimeter here and then it's going to display the phase-to-phase -phase voltage or the phase-to-neutral voltage. So it's very simple, this is your input power, passing it through a, a circuit breaker, then passing the three cables through the current transformers and then taking the two uh, signal cables from each of these transformers and just passing them to your multimeter. This is the setup that I suggest you use in all of your electrical panels. Now, when you work with the government, sometimes they impose this on you and they say, okay, you should have these. But working with private customers, they might not actually all the time impose this on you, but it's a good practice to have it in all of your electrical panels. So this is it for this lecture. See you in the next tutorial.